Hello, peace and blessings. I'm Giovanna, the Spiritual Love Healer. This is your weekly love reading for the week of November 17th. And um, discernment, 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 discernment. It's so funny how these readings build on themselves um, because I think last week I was talking about using and having discernment. Okay, there's too many cards coming out. So I'm gonna put these Yeah, I'm going to put these back. Um, the Ten of Wands did come out. And I'll just keep these cards, energies in mind. But I really want to shuffle and clear the deck before pulling the cards. I want to make sure we're getting the right, the right energies going. So... I love what this says about discernment. It's developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion. And that's really important um, to have discernment, to, to, to be able to see what is and is not for our high, highest good, um, especially when it comes to relationships, because if we allow, okay, the wrong people into our relationships, that can't can impact us um, so it's interesting that some of the same cards came back out okay so with the ten of Pentacles um, not the ten of Pentacles the ten of wands that came out earlier um, I also have the three of Pentacles here and it feels like something is not working um, what I'm noticing is that their backs are turned um, her back is turned to him so it's like maybe someone does not want to be in this relationship or this situation. Somebody is putting more work in the relationship than um, than the other person and it feels like it's imbalanced. It's not really working. But I also feel that someone's just clinging to it because they don't want to let go. With the Four of Pentacles, I feel like it feels safe. Even if it's not working, it feels really safe and secure. So it's like, I don't want to let go. I'm going to make this work. I feel like there's a more masculine energy that's really trying to make this relationship work and there's a more feminine energy that's just like, you know, I'm just going to go off and frolic in the woods because I'm not here for this. Like this isn't what I want. This isn't the love that I dreamed of, but maybe you two have children together so you're afraid to leave and let go, but I also feel like maybe both of you are not completely mature emotionally for a relationship to to work like the priorities your priorities are not in order per se because both of you here look unhappy like this just feels like this is really hard work and i don't want to do it together so maybe you're both trying to work on things but you're doing different things at different times so it's just there's no cohesion I'm not really feeling cohesion. And there could possibly be some other parties involved in the situation. I got too much going on on my table right now. It's like you both want different things and maybe you just don't know how to say that you want something different. Um, and it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to break up, but it's like they want maybe someone wants someone that they can communicate clearly with, someone they can talk to, someone who can help them make decisions. And then, you know, there's someone who's also wanting like financial security. They're wanting stability. They're wanting something you know, long term to work. And I don't feel like there's no love here. 
it just feels like it's work. It feels like there's work. Like it's it's more work than there is love. There are definitely some good times, again, potential children involved, but it's like you've grown apart or you're not sharing like your heart's desires. So in order for this to work, something has to change. We've got the, the death card here. Something has to change or the relationship needs to come to an end. So you're going to have to start communicating with each other. You're going to have to start communicating from the heart, telling each other what you want. You're going to have to face each other, turn around, look at each other and have a conversation, work together, make sure you're working on the same plan. Because if you need, if you're needing communication, then you have to communicate that part to your partner. If you're needing financial stability, you need to communicate that to your partner so that you can both do what's needed so that you're both able to give and receive within the relationship. Otherwise, it's not it's not going to be a happy and harmonious relationship. And if this is resonating with you and you feel that maybe the love is gone from the relationship, I, I don't think it is. I think that there is still some joy there to be had. But you hold the, the answer. You hold the answer and you have the ability to change things by opening your mouth and speaking on what it is that you want or need. And see, we've got the Ace of Cups. So you can, um, you know, by, by talking about it, by saying, hey, this is what I need. Because what I'm seeing is like, you both may want the same things. One of you might be more extroverted, the other more introverted. But at the, at the same token, you kind of balance each other out. And this relationship does have the potential to continue and I've got yeah the two of pentacles you do balance each other out but you need to grow together you've got to talk about what it is that you need and want and let go of the things that may have happened in the past if there are you know maybe you're talking to other people trying to fill in gaps then you've got to let that stuff go and focus on what is the priority for your relationship or your family or whatever situation you've got going on um, and make sure that that is of the utmost importance. So what I'm seeing here for those of you who this may resonate with, if you are in a relationship, it's time for you to get on the same page so that you can reconnect so that you can continue to grow and develop in love. Um, Yeah, it just seems like you're bumping heads here and it feels more <sighs> like work, like you're just, you know, going through the day to day, the ho-hum, like go on a vacation, reconnect with your lover, reconnect with each other, figure out what your priorities are. If they're no longer in alignment, then it's, you know, if, if it does come down to things having to end or shift, then that can be done harmoniously. It doesn't have to be a whole you know, dr dramatic, drama-filled, he cheated, she cheated situation, it can be amicable where, um, you know, you two can possibly be friends, you can co-parent, you can do whatever is best for your situation. But the first step in getting there is going to be talking, expressing your wants and needs to each other clearly, and figuring out how to bring the joy back into your relationship and also discerning for those of you that might be, you know, entertaining other parties, um, discerning what's real and what's not. Discerning where the love truly is and I think it, it's at home, it's with your partner. So be very mindful of who you are entertaining because they may not have your best interest at heart and you might really, you know, mess up something that has the potential to be very great. So. I hope that this has helped someone and um, you know if you do need assistance getting your relationship back on track um, I'm always down for love so um, I do offer coaching and healing services to help you shift your relationship and get things back on track as well but that was the reading for this week and I will see you next week all right peace